Has there ever been a time when you felt, you call a time when you felt uh, very compassionate, deep? We kind of looked at another being or mankind or even your own condition. You looked at something and you got it. You got it the way a fucking Buddhist monk gets it. You were like, you know what? Like, I get it. And then all aggression left and inner peace was there. A sense of compassion for other people. A sense of, yeah, I get, I get why you act like that. It makes sense. You know, in fact, you're probably not even doing too bad compared to what you should be doing considering right sense of compassion sense of openness depth okay and now there then you can come back here now right notice notice now how that felt versus the other one that's another channel you have i mean when you get in your car you don't always listen to the same music even myself after about a month of repeat song i change it at some point right and it goes like you know from despacito to fucking easy e mother real motherfucking g's to fucking uh, Chandelier, Sia, to Enigma, and Two Steps from Hell, like Marilyn Manson, too. Like, it's such a range. But some days I can't listen to the same song, right? I'm not in the mood, I'm not in the vibe. But I still find a song I like. And that's how I want you to start seeing how you play personalities in life. Some days, okay, well, let me... Uh, and let me give you a yoga analogy for myself, the way I practice, okay? There's been days where I felt very strong. And when I say strong, I mean like just, you know, if you, you feel like, like muscles, so you feel strong. There's been days where I felt more flexible, but I didn't feel very strong. There's been days where I felt very playful, like I, I was having a really good time as I was stretching. There's been days where I've been really, really deep. If you had watched me do it, it would look like a really religious man. You're just observing him pray or something for 90 minutes. Now, all of those I enjoy. There's a few more too. But the way I do it now is I show up to class. And this is what I have now is a better process than I had. I'm just reporting into you as mentorship. You get to hear what the hell happened in my head today. I go in there and what I've been doing is just, okay, I'm going to start by just going what? light in a way that it just my body begins to just feel like it's moving i'm just going to focus on the movement lightly and just begin to breathe and feel let's just let's try not to do anything let's just do the move and see what the hell is happening right now so i start doing that at some point in one of the postures what happens is some feeling amplifies now it could be where I feel so strong. Then I'm gonna go and suddenly I feel like I'm, a, I'm that fucking guy. I look like a goddamn warrior in my mind. I'm ready to go. Or sometimes I feel super uh, elastic, like, like, like a snake almost. So I become like a snake god. But I don't know what's there. What I do is I start the breathing and I do it in a way where I kind of just really focus on the feeling being good, relaxed, breathing and i just keep staying really focused on my movement and breathing and whatever movement and breathing and then something opens up and it has not failed yet in the last six seven days or whatever i don't know i kind of lose track of time but it's been days now okay and so with with your seduction with your sale with your pickup with your life facing the devils and gods whatever there's a way to do it. There's a sequence here where you begin just by engaging life without any kind of, I'm going to do this, be this, or whatever. Just engage. Let's go. Let's see what's going on. How are you feeling? Right? What mask today fits properly, but is the right channel still? Like I named all the things that feel good. I have a lot of things that don't feel good. I'm not going to wear those masks. I'm doing yoga, searching for that good feeling. Right? I'm doing life, searching for that good feeling. 